Hey guys, this video is all about our experience in the spirit of Tasmania. Things that you need to know like booking procedure, what are the costs involved, what to bring on the ship, options for food, what's inside for kids entertainment and a lot more. We booked day tickets for our arrival at Tazi and night cabin tickets for our return. If you are planning your trip during peak season, then do the booking well in advance as the tickets get sold out pretty fast. We traveled during Christmas break and paid around $1,600. Arrive in the time window 45 minutes to 2.5 hours before the ship departs. Although there was a waiting line, but since we arrived two and a half hours before, we got early access to the ship. At the gate, you will be asked to present your boarding passes and will be given tickets to your cabin or recliners depending on what you have booked. You will then be guided to drive through customs where an officer will ask you a bunch of questions and have a quick peek in your car. Keep in mind that no fresh fruits and vegetables are allowed on the way to Tazi. If you are bringing a car, then you would require to provide the exact make and model of the car including some additional details. And you must drive this car on the day. This allows the crew to best utilize the limited space on the board. Since you will be on the ship for almost 10 hours with no access to your vehicle once parked on board until you arrive, it is important to carry some essentials. You should have your essential medications, some snacks, a water bottle and toiletries. If you are planning to go on the deck, then pack a jacket as it gets windy and cold. As you will have a lot of time on the ship, it is a good idea to bring a Kindle or an iPad or a book and chargers to charge your devices. There are plug points at many different locations on the ship. There are lockers that you can pay for or you can keep your bags on shelves. We initially thought of booking recliners for our daytime sail, but glad we didn't do that because there are plenty of different kind of seating arrangements on the ship. Like you can relax on the comfortable couches or lounge chairs, or spend some time on the deck, or enjoy some tazzy wine with a view of lovely water, or be in the reading area, which is comparatively a quiet place from the rest of the ship. For our nighttime sail, we booked a cabin. It was a decent sized cabin with bedding and towels. There were also plug points for charging and lights for reading near each bed. We all loved it. It also had a private bathroom and shower. You will never have a dull moment on the ship as there are a lot of options for entertainment. You can watch movies as there are two small cinemas with multiple screenings per sailing. You can buy cinema tickets on board. There are TVs at multiple locations. For kids, there is a play area. Also, there are arcade games and gaming stations. There are plenty of food options on the ship. You can buy snacks and beverages from these vending machines. There are three bars and a restaurant selling drinks, bar snacks, pizza and toasties. There is a pantry as well selling drinks, pastries, pies, souvenirs and basic toiletries. This is the TMK restaurant which has this buffet menu. You can fill your plate as much as you want. Honestly, we loved the quality of food here. And I was pleasantly surprised as there were a lot of healthy options. Alternatively, you can bring your own food, but keep in mind that no fresh fruits and vegetables are allowed. There is a reception area with a tourism hub that has brochures and information for attractions in Tazi. If you are planning to go to areas like Cradle Mountain or Fresnet National Park, then you can get National Parks Pass on board which is a great convenience. 
I do get seasick when the sea is rough and there was a little bit of swaying at this moment when the ship entered Bass Strait in our day sail from Geelong. But it lasted only for 10 to 20 minutes and then it was a smooth sail. It did not make me seasick at all. Although I was really worried but it was all good. I felt nothing on our return from Devonport which was night time sail. Overall it was a great experience for us and would love to experience it again. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.